Hi guys, Steph here. Right, we've got for you another lovely pen. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it does what it says on the tin. It's a Conway Stewart pen. Let's open the, the box, take the pen out, and just show you inside the box there. You've got the filling instructions inside the box there. It says to fill. Unscrew barrel from the nib section, immerse nib in the ink, press bar in aperture slowly four or five times and wait, wait ten seconds etc etc etc. Um, on the other side of the box you've got the Conway Stewart range of pens, propelling pencils, uh, gives you a little bit of information regards the Conway Stewart and we've got the address 196 Great Great Cambridge Road, Enfield, Middlesex. So, that's the box. Let's show you the pen. Now, some of you will look at this pen and say, Oh, right, is that really Conway Stewart? Well, the answer is, yes, it is. It's a little bit later. Um, I've shown you lots of Conway Stewart pens, a lot of vintage pens. This, well, we can still call this a vintage pen, but it's quite a bit later. And when I say quite a bit later, um, we're dating it, well, around about, I think, I believe these pens were made between 1963 and 1967. So, we're now going into the 1960s. Now, um, what model is it? Well, this is actually a Conway Stewart number 68. The size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, it's 132 millimeters cap. Um, around the barrel, around about here, around about 10 millimeters in diameter. Now the Conway 68s, these pens, they came in numerous different colors. This color here that we've got is what we term well, they called it the duck egg green colour. They also brought one out in teal blue. I believe they brought one out in turquoise, in red, and obviously like a lot of other pens in classic black colour. So what we've got here, as I say, is the duck egg green. Now this particular model, they termed as the pre, well, the press sack or pre sack, and we'll show you why in a moment. But as you can see, the pen sort of has a sort of taper to, to the top of the cap and that matches the end of the barrel there. It's got this quite a large gold filled cap band to the bottom of the cap there. And if we go up to the, to the clip there, slightly different than sort of the earlier clips. This is quite a sort of, quite a standard one and there's no sort of diamond as in the earlier ones. But what you'll notice to the very top there it's got CS, which obviously indicates Conway Stewart. There's a sideways view. To the top there, we've got this gold peak stud to the very top of the cap there. And that is complemented with a similar stud to the end of the barrel. There we go again. A nice sort of gold peak, peaked stud there to the end of the barrel. Let's show you the, the barrel imprint. Okay, this pen I believe has never been inked, so the barrel imprint should be sort of nice and clear for you. And it says Conway Stewart, and then it's got the number 68 to the end. Underneath, we've got Made in England, and also another little interesting thing about this pen if I turn it round a little bit, there you can see it's got an imprint that reads medium so we're assuming the nib on this particular pen is medium now as I say um, sort of looking at the pen when I actually got it I don't think it's ever been inked it's got what we term as a slip cap it's a little bit stiff because as I say I don't believe it's been used much if well I think it's just literally been stored in the in the box but let's give you a couple of little twirls like so a lovely little pen and I must admit um, quality wise not as good as some of the vintage ones or the early ones that Conway Stewart actually made um, so I, I would call this sort of maybe a, a lower tier Conway Stewart pen maybe more 
a school pen from the 1960s. You can see it's got this sort of ring to the very bottom of this section there. You can see the section tapers towards towards the nib there and if we turn it round it's got this lovely little sort of well there's a sideways view you can see it's sort of it's got these cutaway pieces underneath and to the top there let's show you the nib the nib on this pen is a 14 karat gold and I believe it's a number six nib on these particular pens so it's a smallish nib and if we turn it round for you you can see the feed there. The feed looks quite a standard Conway Stewart feed to the back there. Now, as I said, they call this the the pre-sack or the press sack or whichever way you want to pronounce it. And the reason being is that <coughs> at this particular time, what Conway Stewart did, they actually looked at other manufacturers. Um, I think in my opinion, especially like the likes of Parker, who had what they term as the aerometric type uh, filling system and they actually did something similar they sort of jumped on the bandwagon if you like and uh, brought out this filling system here which you'll notice is actually well it's not gold plated I would say it's a gold wash but you've got <laughs> you've got a sap protector there in gold which is well a nice little touch but whether it's necessary or not is uh, another matter and what you do you simply Press on this bar here once you obviously put the nib in the ink and similar to the aerometric system it would then take in ink. It has some uh, sort of instructions again to the top of the filler there to fill, uh, press slowly and then I'm not too sure what that says underneath but uh, yeah press slowly so it's got a little bit of uh, instructions to the top there but again a very interesting touch is this this gold washed sort of aerometric style filler to this particular pen so if we pop the barrel back on which as you can see obviously just screws on as I said in my opinion the pen has never been inked so I don't want to ink it because some people when they actually purchase these pens they like the pens as they are to to display but I know you people like to see pens writing, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just simply, in this particular case, I'm just going to simply dip the dip dip the pen in the ink, and we'll just do a dip test. So, as we said, what we've got, okay, can we, Stuart? And as we've already said, this one is a number 68. Let's give it another little dip. Um, it's writing, I would say, well, in this case, I would say a medium line. And it's writing nicely. There's no variation in the line, so it's quite a stiff nib. But saying that, well, can't complain, a nice writer. So let's show you the writing sample there. So as you can see, a medium line, no variation, um, but yeah, a very nice writer. So let's pop that to one side. So pop the ink to one side so we don't spill it. So there we have it. I've not shown you one of these before, so I thought, let's show you this particular pen. Well. It's not very often I get these in, to be quite honest with you, but it came to me recently, so I thought it's worthy of a video review. So, what we have is a Conway Stewart, Stewart 68 uh, pre-sack or press sack um, from around about the 1960s in this lovely duck egg green colour with gold filled trim and, well, yeah, a nice... Um, introductory pen if you like or a school pen of that particular era so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you don't forget you can leave a comment but for this time I'm just going to say bye bye for now